okay hi guys so we will be discussing more on the basic concepts of thermodynamics so we know that density is equals to mass upon volume so we know that in the previous lecture we discussed that mass is an extensive property and volume is an extensive property so the effect of both the two extensive properties was, would cancel out when they are in a ratio hence resultant quantity that which is density would be an intensive property in other words we can write that ratio of two extensive properties would be an intensive property similarly for specific volume we can say that specific volume can be written as ratio of two extensive properties in this case volume upon mass so specific volume would also be an intensive property so now before going forward let me write down a note that heat and work are not measurable properties they manifest themselves only during a process okay so now let's say what's the process rather let's see what's the process so a process is said to occur if the state of system changes okay next is a process is a path along which change of state take place we can also uh, alternatively say that process is a path along which change of state takes place okay now let us see types of processes or types of process so first is uh, an isothermal process so isothermal process yeah so isothermal process is a process in which the temperature remains constant throughout the process temperature remains constant or we can write change in temperature is equals to zero or delta t equals to zero next let us see isobaric process or isobaric process so isobaric process is process in which change in pressure equals to zero or pressure remains constant so you can write delta p equals e equals to zero third point is isochoric process so in isochoric process change in volume remains or change in volume is equals to zero or volume volume remains constant so we can write that delta v equals to zero next let us see adiabatic process so it's a process in which delta q is equals to zero or heat transfer would be equals to zero okay so so no heat transfer between the system and surrounding takes place in an adiabatic process okay oops yeah so 
we'll, we'll, we'll also be discussing about cyclic process in the next lecture wherein a cyclic process is a process in which a system undergoes a series of changes and ultimately comes back to its initial state or state and then we'll also be discussing more on the several graphs of the cyclic process okay but before doing that let me first complete this so no heat transfer between system and surrounding take place okay so we can write that delta q in this case would be zero so with this we come to the end of this lecture we will meet in the next lecture so till then good luck and good bye